Board Game Empire. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of Marvel Dice Throne. Now you can play this game with two to six players. It takes around 40 minutes and it's A+. Plus. So we're really excited about this game. Um, I love Marvel. I used to collect comic books for over 15 years. Um, love the uh, illustration and the collaboration. So really excited to play this. So we're just going to do the unboxing and then uh, later time we'll do the playthrough and review. So we're just going to jump right into the unboxing. Now this is a game we're really excited about because we played the original adventure mode and that was extremely fun. Yeah, Dice Throne Adventures, phenomenal game. Our favorite uh, co-op game, I would say. Okay, so here we have the cover. Really nice cover. It's got Scarlet Witch, Thor, Loki, Spider-Man. I technically like Loki more than all of them. So here we have the back of the box. Same thing, it just shows all the components. Okay. And that's what I like about Dice Throne as well. As you'll notice, um, it has everything in its own little case. So here we have several punch outs. So here we have for Scarlet Witch, there's a Thor hammer, Loki, Thor, and Spider-Man. There's spider webs. There's the back. Now they have come out with quite a few more. Um, Black Panther is one of them. He's uh, technically my one of my favorite Marvel ones. And this was before the movie. This was like over 30 years ago. Scarlet Witch. Attack modifier, damage types. Turn breakdown. Okay. So we're just gonna look at each individual one. So there's all four. So here's Loki's, or Thor's, I mean. So here we have, I don't know why it has like a, the rainbow thing, because he's more of a brute force. So here we have Thor, and for Ashgard, Chain Lightning, Odin Force, Hammered, Mighty Summon, Lightning Rod, Thunderbolt, Bolted Lightning, and Thunder Wheel. Reason I like Loki is for his magical skills, and well, kind of, he's a trickster. Here we have Guard Break. So here we have all his information. They both. One thing about this game is all of our characters have a lot of different abilities. Yep. Here's his uh, hit point or combat points. Here's his health, health meter. Uh, here's his deck. We're going to go through it. But here's all his dice. And so, here, let me. Uh, Go through each one so you guys can see each individual one and different things they do. Okay. There's all the different icons. There's a player aid. Yep. There are lots of stuff, looks like. Oh yeah, they each have their own deck. Oh. <clears throat> Let me uh, stand up for this. So here is Thor.
all his cards and abilities. See, my favorite has always been Loki, Black Panther, um, Silver Surfer, Thanos. Bullseye. Okay, so that's uh, Thor. And we have Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch was pretty cool though. She does, she did have a quite a bit of things she did. That, okay, so here's the back of that one. Or Scarlet Witch. Here, let's uh, get a little closer look at what she can do. Here we have some more. Here's her combat points, hit points. Here's the dice. Those are all the different icons. Well, actually there's another one there. Those are all the different ones. <coughs> yeah, I gotta do the cards. And they definitely have a, if they're gonna follow the Marvel route, they have a lot of characters they could choose from. Yeah. Hopefully they pick some of the more unknown ones that are really good. There are a lot of good Marvel characters that didn't get such a quite a big following, but just were really cool. Had really cool backstories. Okay. And my last character. Spider-Man. Now, I've never been a big Spider-Man fan. I just, uh, I like that when they went more dark on in the comic books with Spider-Man. I think they were just a little too kiddie like when they originally did Spider-Man. That's why I like Loki and them. With plots, the backstories are I think a little better. And there's another, let's see. No, that's it. Okay. There we have Spiderman's cards. I like how each player has their own individual deck. Yeah. They definitely spent a lot of time into making all the stuff. Yeah, they do. Okay. Last one, Loki. He's hidden the pet one for last. Mm -hmm. There's the back. It almost has like a 
kind of like a dune look. There's a camp combat points. Health meter. Here's the different dice. Uh, let me look at sure get all the icons. <laughs> you almost dropped it. No. Just fumbling fingers right now. <laughs> really cool illustration. Yeah, Loki's definitely my favorite. Guessing he'll be fun to play with all his little trickery that he does. Okay, so that's everything clue in the box. Now we will be doing a playthrough review at a later time. So if you like this video, please like subscribe. Social media is down below in the description. We'll have a link where to buy the game and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.